Hi YouTube, this is a uh, lag zero pounds of one doing a let's face it a deck profile. Uh, I've seen lots of deck profiles in the past, and I've done a few now. I think about there's a couple anyway. Uh, so I've decided to do this one. This is my new deck profile for agents. Okay, I used to run agents. I ran the um, 2011 when the first set when the when it set come out. I ran this deck where Julusula and a couple traps, dust tornadoes and stuff like that. I'm tempted to put dust tornadoes back into this deck because I think it works quite well with a couple of continuous spell cards. But anyway, this is my deck at the moment. First of all, three shining balls, mystic shining balls. This is the main. This is one of the main techs in the deck um, because you, you use Venus to special summon them, and it's good because it's fairy and it can go to graveyard and all such other stuff. Okay, Archlord Christian. I have two Archlord Christian in this deck. I because it's limited to. Uh, what is that? If you have exactly four fairy monsters in your grave, you can special summon this card from your hand. I like that. It's good. And then you target a fairy in your gra grave and add it to your hand. So you can reuse cards of a fairy if you've got your grave. Ugh. Pardon me. Okay, uh, too bad, Vader. Just because it's useful when you have a really rubbish hand and they're dark types, so you, you can use them with a lot like this bad boy. But that's an envoy of the beginning. I like this card. It's been. One of my favourites for a long, long time, and so it's really good fun. And then three DD Crow. DD Crow, during your player's turn, you can discard this card from your hand to target one card in your player's graveyard and banish that target. This works well against a uh, Graffer and stuff like that. Crow is a useful monster, uh, a very useful monster. <laughs> Uh, one Dark Lord, Dark Armor Dragon. Again, Dark Armor Dragon is quite a useful monster in this deck um, because there's not a lot of dark monsters in this deck, but you can send. It's quite useful for a beat stick monster, if, just in case. There are quite a few boss monsters in this deck. More than I like. I might take Dark Armor out and put something else in. Uh, triple Effect Vader. I've seen a deck build with uh, Maxis in it, triple Maxis instead of Fit Raider, but I rather stop their effects. Oh, I rather stop their effects than um, draw cards off their, their effects because um, you might get OTK and you're stupid. But I'm tempted to run double Maxi in this deck just to see if it works and take out those Trigonians. Right, double Genix Birdman. It basically bounce card. I like this when it mind, I mind control the monster and bounce it back to the hand to summon Birdman. It gives me a free su special summon. Well, a minus one, but at least I have a minus two. Um, Gauze, the Embassy of Darkness. I like this card because again, I can give it a special summon him, summon the token, which is what level seven, the bounce Gauze. Than Birdman and going to rank uh, level 10. It's, I think it's Genix uh, Locomotive. And Locomotive is a free, I think, if I remember my stats correctly, it is a 3000 beat stick monster. Oh, I actually can look up the card, I forgot about that. Genix. Let's have a look. Monster level ten. Or is it level nine? Oh, there is. Locomotive Jira. Right, right. Oh, it's level ten, but it's not. It's level nine. Okay, two. Yeah, level nine. Uh oh, it's twenty five hundred bit stick, and then you just take control of the highest attack ones in the film. Anyway. 
I'm going to clear that. Right, now, uh, what else? Um, one honest, honest is quite useful in this deck because quite a few monsters are light and it's just easy to be stick. I'm trying, I, I like this because uh, honest is the uh, level 4 as well. So, it's just useful. Sorry, my, my me yawning. Right, to Master Hyperion. Master Hyperion is a nice little uh, monster. Uh, sorry, a nice big monster. 2700. Bill it each or remove a fairy from the graveyard to summon him. By the time you have him out and Christian out, you should have game. Quite easily. Most possibly. Most possibly by that time you have game, so it's good. Right, so I have two of them. Uh, Sangen is a staple monster. It lets you have a 1500 monster to your hand. Surge, um, Tribal. Not so much Tribal, but. <sighs> I could search nearly every single card in this deck except for Venus, which is the next monster because he's 600 attack. I think if Sangan got banned and Black Witch of Black Forest came in after the next ban list, I think Witch would be such a proper monster. Anyway, next one Agent of Mystery Earth. I finally got two of these again. Because I did trade off this whole deck. Um, two trade grains, which again I had two and I traded them off. For spells, uh, Allure Darkness, Dark Hole, Heavy Storm, Mind Control, Monster Reborn, two MSTs, Hot Duality, and two Reinforcement, Monster Reincarnation. That's just in case I want to reuse. Say so I've got five fairies of dark ones in my hand that I can reuse because it's on Christian and then reuse my fairy as my grave. Okay, to my extra deck as I <laughs> part of my YouTube. I didn't mean to yawn there. Anyway, is um, one ally just as Catastor. I'm Black Crows just in case I'm on a boat field. Miss Worm, level 9, easy to summon with. If I have it in my hand, which is quite good. Uh, a scrap dragon, which I try to keep thinking of how to make it, and then I, I remember how you make it. And, and I feel stupid even actually stating that how you make it. A uh, Sun Stars Dragon and one TG Hyper Librarian, which again is a nice little card. Okay, um, for exceeds, uh, Catchy Catchy, uh, Zen Mains. I use uh, the drama over um, this one. Lets you, I think, relieve tech. Oh yeah, all dungeon monsters tech tw uh, gain five and attack. I use it earth type. Uh, level three, yeah, Leviathan Leonair. This card ban banishes quite a lot. Then Heretic Sun Overlord of Pephis because um, if you get two Hyperions on the field or a Christian Hyperion get overlay to this. You send any amount of cards to your hand, should be any amount of cards to your hand to the grave to ditch. And then um, one, the number 30, Acid Golem of Destruction. And then Dalgazo Phoenix, Pyrotype. Mm -hmm. I only recently added this card into my um deck decks because I, I realised that most of my decks I play run level can run level two exceeds. And I normally just run two gachi gachis, but I thought Phoenix because uh, if, if I have a clear field which is with this deck is quite possible, you can do three K with his effect. Or you can turn any wind monster you control, which I don't think I run Many except for C and Miss Worm. So if you have him, Miss Worm on the field. Oh, that's a uh, 58, no, 68. 68 with him, with Miss Worm? Yeah, 68. This is 29. No, 58, sorry. 5800 attack points. Attack. Because you can attack twice. 
So uh, here's my deck profile. Uh, if you want to comment or subscribe, I will be doing other videos soon as I get my channel bigger. Uh, if you want to tell me what you want to see in my channel, a deck profiles. I, I do plan to do a deck profile for every attribute. At the moment, I have my fish deck on here. It's my water. This one's going to be my light deck. Uh, put a dark. I think I think I have dark world for my dark deck. Um, but again, comment. I do have a wind up deck on here as well. I've got my earth stun. Oh, sorry, rock stun for my earth deck. My dragoon is for my wind deck, which needs updating because I've changed a lot out of it at the moment. Uh, I want to do a big shout out to uh, Android 6667. I really i am enjoying your videos on YouTube at the moment. Some of them are really funny. Some of them help me. Um, figure out what I'm going to do for the current format, help me decide what my extra deck card is going to be, my side deck card is going to be, and actually what my main deck is going to be. Um, a uh, big shout out to uh, Phoenix, uh, I can't remember his actual full YouTube name, but he's been a big help from him running his Dragoonty deck. I run a, a basically a similar build over in the UK, and he's doing really well and topping. I think he came second or third in his last regionals or uh, locals, which is really really good. Unfortunately for me, I got I played my locals with my community last um, last time we played, and what happened was I got pwned by. Light Swarm OTK and got pwned by Gigan's uh, scraps quite big over here and I think I got pwned by a Batchy Man deck at one point. It just had a basically it just summoned three AA Batchy Man OTK me it's like great and then slowly Killed me in the second game because he just kept putting that set. He had sat like three Mystic Space Dark rooms every time I played Ravine. He went MST it, and then as soon as I played Ducks, he played uh, Effect Raider. So I didn't realize how bad that deck would have been, but oh my god, that was very bad. Um, please subscribe because I, I really want to go over like 30, well, at least 100 subscribers because. I've only got like seven at the moment, so please subscribe to my channel if you like this video. I'll be doing more. Like I said, I'm go I think I'm going to start doing a card of the month, and I might post that maybe around the 30th of September. I'll start that. So uh, as I'm moving house soon, so you'll get to see my uh, my new digs and what I be. Um, posting on the channel um, uh, my, oh, my friends uh, please uh, go and check out uh, Kiri One's channel as well and you go Britain and you go Musketeer hope to see him back soon I, hope, I really want to see his uh, videos because they are so so funny and he's quite good at it what he does and he's a close friend of mine he comes to my locals which is really really good and um, I hope to do uh, maybe a vanguard video as well soon so please stay in touch because I play on beyond and I'm gonna play my locals in about two hours which is in um, the low our locals my locals are in Shoring by sea which is near Brighton in a so please stay in touch and I will hopefully post some more videos soon. Bye YouTube and keep on playing.